You know, I'm not one for talking about many sports games on this channel. I'm certainly not one to do a trailer reaction video for one. But for some reason, I just really feel like looking at the trailer for NBA 2K20, don't ask me why, it was a purely random fancy. So let's have a look at that, shall we? Let's have a look at the trailer for NBA 2K20. So here we are, NBA 2K20 My Team, which is rated in the corner there for ages three and up by Peggy. How oh, there's a loot box straight away. How exciting for us all! So yeah, look at all the little stickery carty bollockses you can find in there. Uh, there's a bit of the basketball game. Uh, so I can't wait to see what teams are in it, uh, what kind of physics they're after. Oh wait, hold on, no, we're back to loot boxes. Okay, cool. We've got new evolution cards, how exciting it moves very quickly. Lots of pretty colours and dazzling lights to entertain and amuse us. None of this is gambling, by the way. I want to point out that. Um, none of this loot box, none of these randomised mechanics, none of these gambling-inspired mechanics are gambling. It's it's like EA always says, it's surprise mechanics, and I'm very surprised by what I'm seeing. Oh, that looks like a random game of chance. You kind of see that at a, as a, at a fun fair, at a carnival, though. It's not necessarily gambling. I mean, you're wagering money for a prize, but it's not necessarily gambling. Oh, there's a slot machine. Well, then, that's that, isn't it? There it is. There it is. And a little spinny wheel as well. Because none of this is gambling. None of this is gambling. This is totally not on the fucking nose whatsoever, is it? Is it video games? There's a little bit more basketball. Oh, we're back to a loot box, sorry. There's more gambling. Sorry, there's more surprise mechanics in this trailer than there is any footage of actual basketball video gaming being done. Well, I must say, I'm more than excited to play NBA 2K20. <laughs> Very excited indeed. Oh fucking dear. Well then, that was NBA 2K20's My Team trailer. How about that? I mean, you couldn't get more blatant if you tried. You couldn't try harder than that to rub people's faces in the gambling mechanics in your game. Sorry, the surprise mechanics in your game. It almost feels like it was done on purpose. It almost feels like that was a fuck you from 2K to anyone who's voiced concerns about gambling mechanics more and more encroaching into people's video games. It feels like a massive fuck you to the entire debate, if we're honest, to the entire controversy. It feels like a massive fuck you to the investigations by gambling committees, by politicians, by potential legislators, by, you know, just by people like myself who have shared stories, actual anecdotes, actual personal stories from the, 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 the people who these video games prey upon. It feels like a deliberate attempt to smear 2K shit in people's faces. But I don't even know that they thought that far ahead. I think they're just so fucking dense. If we were to really look at it, even though it feels like a fuck you, they are probably, I'm not ruling out that it's a fuck you, but they are more likely so bloody dense, so bloody stupid, so unable to take the temperature, the climate of the community right now to even think about how bad that looks while the BBC is publishing articles about the negative impacts gambling mechanics have had on families. They are probably too utterly dumb to even consider how this looks while gambling commissions are looking into this stuff. While the Federal Trade Commission is having hearings about loot boxes. Either that or also just as likely they just don't care. They just don't give a shit. But there's no room for interpretation here. This is a video, this trailer is a video that directly links gambling and loot boxes. And I didn't even have to do it. I didn't even have to make a connection this time. This is the video game publisher doing it. This is 2K drawing its own link between literal gambling games, between slot machines and loot boxes, roping them all up into the fun ways you can interact with their fucking basketball game, which would be about basketball, not slot machines. Where do slot machines factor into the great sport of basketball?
Only in the video game industry. Only in the fucking so-called, self-styled, triple-A video game industry are slot machines part of the basketball experience. Slot machines that are sat right next to the fucking loot boxes as if they belong in the same bracket, which they do because they are gambling, my friends. They are gambling and it's not even me saying it this time, it's 2K Games. Even if we ignore my facetiousness here, they're not doing themselves any favours, are they? If they actually care about trying to distinguish loot boxes from gambling, and on one side of its mouth, the video game industry is telling us that loot boxes are not comparable at all to gambling, and out the other side of its mouth, it's saying, hey kids aged three and up, let's not forget, enjoy your loot boxes, enjoy your lucky spin wheels, enjoy your slot machines. You know, I distinctly remember mentioning that when the casino came to Grand Theft Auto Online, I distinctly remember mentioning that other publishers are going to be very interested in those sorts of mechanics and how they can be monetized. Now, I'm not saying that the slot machines in NBA 2K20 are going to work that way, that they'll be directly monetized yet, but it's an encroachment. It looks like a testing of the waters. How farther can we push this? How much farther can we push the idea of gambling while still staying outside of the technical legal definition of gambling? After all, I'm sure some of these publishers think they've gotten away with it. After the UK Gambling Commission said that loot boxes are not technically gambling, only because of the strict legal definition. They never said it shouldn't be regulated, they just said that right now, the legal definition of gambling does not rope loot boxes in, despite the ties to problem gambling, despite the way they mechanically behave. I wonder if some publishers have taken that as tacit permission to just do what they want. That so long as there's no real world money payout, so long as you keep pumping money into virtual slot machines and get something that the publishers themselves are Admit has no monetary value, so long as they keep doing that, they can just push the envelope further and further. And again, they've probably not gone that far with the slot machines in NBA 2K20, but it just looks like a testing of the water. It just looks like they're slowly nudging it in there, just again conflating themselves the link between slot machines and loot boxes, just to see just to see what they can get away with, which is what publishers do. I mean, I've covered them for so many years, and if you look back on my body of work, you can see that's what they routinely do. They push, they push, they push. If they push too far, they'll retreat a little bit, and then retreat to somewhere that was already egregious, but because they retreated from somewhere worse, they'll behave as if what they're doing right now is noble, is laudable, is something we should applaud for at E3. Oh yes, we've shoveled microtransactions into a premium game, where they don't fucking belong, but at least there's no loot boxes. Give us a round of applause, everyone. Give us a round of applause. Fucking charlatans. Either way, Peggy rated this as suitable for ages three and up. Right, it, it's there. The logo is there in the trailer that shows the gambling. And I hope, I hope that bites them in the fucking ass. I hope at some point when there is a reckoning for this abusive predatory monetization, when or I guess if there's a reckoning, I mean, corporations get away with mostly anything, but if, if there comes the reckoning there should be, I hope that this very trailer is a swift kick directly upon the anus of 2K Games from whence this shit poured. I hope commissions, I hope committees, I hope the FTC see this trailer and start asking some very pointed questions about it. The first question being, 2K Games, what the fuck were you thinking? You Fucking knobs. That's what I'm gonna close with. That that's that's the the diplomatic and intellectual way I'm gonna end this video. 2K games, you fucking knobs.